All right, what's up people? It's Otis from One Myself and Fitness. I'm back with a new video. Now, it's been a while, but we're back on a Monday. And as it's Monday, you know, it means Monday challenge, the mountain climber challenge. So we're gonna get to do that first. Before you get started, just pause it. Take one second to subscribe to the channel. Like I keep saying, all support is helping. And we're just trying to joke, grow the channel till we can do live videos. So, mountain climber challenge, weekly challenge. For those of you that don't know, this is what we're going to do. Two minutes, so first 30 seconds, normal climbers. Next 30 seconds, take it across. Then we go back on normal climbers and then take it across. So 30, 30, 30, 30, normal cross climbers working the obliques. Then repeat again, two minutes, yeah? All right, I'm a bit rusty on this, but we've got to get the work. Let's do this. Okay. All right, ready to go. Set your watch in three. Three, two, one. Let's go. So just remember, if you can't keep the climbers going, hold the plank. Let the stomach work for the two minutes, or as long as you can for the two minutes. Alright, last 10 of the first set of climbers. Alright, taking it across. Alright, breathe it through, breathe it through. Alright, halfway through this one. Keep it coming. All right, climbers. All right, I'm feeling it. All right, less than 10. Then we change to the last variation. All right, taking it across. Last 30. Last 15. Let's keep holding on. Okay. Whew. That was tough. Bloody uh, I did some press up pull ups yesterday. My chest and arms are tight. Oh my days. Glad I got that one through. Okay. Challenge over for another week. So let's go on to the main workout. Three, two, let's start off with some legs. So we've done before. So side view, we're gonna go from this position. Two lunges, two punches. So get the balance through the front foot, also the back on your toes. We're gonna come down just like this. One, two, one, two. Just like that. 30 seconds, then we change sides, other side, same thing. So gonna be one, two, one, two, okay? All right, let's do this. First one, let's go in. Three. Let's go. One, two, two, two. So when your left leg, left foot is the front foot, the left arm is the jab, is the first punch. And then we swap it for the other side, for the next round. Last five coming up. All right, take a rest, 30. Gee, shoulders are still burning, mate. 
All right, 20 seconds, and we come back on. Have your stretch out, have your breather. out. We get back on. All right, the shoulders. All right, five seconds. I've got my right foot forward this time. Let's go. One, two, two. So that's it, right. Right punch first this time. As always with the lunges, keep the balance, especially through the front foot. And don't move until you've got that balance. Because then you start compromising your knee. Nice and stable and then move from there. Alright, we're good. First one down. Okay. Let's come down to the mat. Get some core work in. So, what we want to do for this one, we want to get the hollow body effect, which is the lower back flush to the floor, feet off the floor, and shoulders off the floor. So, set this timer. What we're going to do, we're going to do half crunch leg raises so hands behind your head like that and you're gonna get your feet off just like that so as you come up your lower back you're sucking in your lower stomach sucking in your belly button towards your spine your lower back is flushing against the floor against the mat your legs raise shoulders raise excellent work for the stomach okay so Let's do this. 30 seconds. In three. Three, two, one. Let's do this. Here you come in. Excellent. To be honest, that one was probably an advanced one. That one's kind of hard, I can't even lie. So, keep with the stomach work. I'm gonna go again, one of the favorites. We're gonna go on our backs. Extend out and reverse crunch now, yeah? Mixing two of the favorites, the tucks, reverse crunch. Let's go, hands flat on the floor, head flat, extend. Bring the knees in. <sighs> keep it coming. Try to keep it controlled. Excellent work. Okay, let's get some back bridge raise. You know that is 100% a favorite in, the, in this workout series. So, if you don't know already, this is how we're gonna do it. Feet flat, or starting position, the feet don't need to be flat. They can be just resting, facing forwards. This kind of angle, less than 90 degrees. Now, hands are going to be facing away from the body and then what we're going to do is make sure your feet aren't too far out like that, that's too much. Push through the feet. Feet are going to be flat at this point as you're pushing through. Raise the hips up, head back as well and raise, yeah? That's going to open up all of the shoulder, well, the whole of the front chain. So, from the hip flexors, torso, the stomach, the chest, the shoulders, you get the contraction in the calves, a little bit then all of the hamstrings, the glutes, the back, the triceps. So, because like I said, my chest is tight from yesterday, this is a perfect one to get that balance, open up the chest, work the back side of your body. So let's do this, 
Let's get two rounds of this one. All right. Set the time again in three. Let's go, no rush. Up and down. Get the hips up nice and high. Don't forget, relax the head. Let the head fall back at the top of the movement. This allows you to get that extra height. Lift, relaxes your body for the race. All right, good work. Okay, very good. All right, let's get on one more round of those back bridge raises. You guys know the drill now. Let's do this. Good form, feet flat. As you go to the top of the movement, your feet are planted and grounded. Hands facing away, hips up, head falling back so you can get that raise and open up the chest, yeah? In five, last of these ones. Let's go. Equally, each foot. Ah, keep it coming. Three, two, one. Ah, all right, boy. Find out something so childlike looking and basic looking can be quite hard and destructive. Either. All right, next one. Let's get some side plank raises now. So we want to work the obliques, which is going to work the lower part of the stump, low, sorry, the side part of the stomach. And also, because we're going to be doing raises, we're going to open up the hip area. So the obliques, the other oblique that isn't working as much a hold is going to be stretching out and getting a good little stretch while the other side is contracting. I'm going to show you. So we're going to have one hand down, just like this. So you can have your hand up or on the side, whichever one. And we're just going to come up like that. So as you come up, that part of the bleak is getting the work. This part of the bleak is getting a little stretch. Yeah? All right, let's do this. Set the alarm, 30 seconds. Three, two, let's do this. Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're halfway. <laughs> My feet keep slipping. <sighs> Alright. Lucky for I'm in the shade, boy. Sweating hard already. Trust me. All right. 20 seconds. Back on. Same thing on the other side. Oh. All right. So let's set up. You want nice and open. You don't want it like this. Nice and straight. Keeps open. Let's go. Keep slipping on the grass. All right, <laughs> halfway. Keep it coming. Yeah. If you touch, especially this side, you feel the contraction. Yeah. Ah. All right. Excellent. Okay. Let's get some cardio and core together now so what we're going to do is every time i don't know why this time it does this all right so we're going to go on the spot we're going to get four jogs one two three four down to the floor climb across climb across one two three four take it across take it across yeah so let's get a 
minute on this one. Excellent bit of cardio on core. So, let's do this. Three, two, let's go. Alright, one, two, three, four. Back down. Two. One, two, three, four. Back in. One, two, three, four. Right down. Upstairs, downstairs work. Excellent for the core. One, two, three, four. You don't get to settle in one position either. One minute you're on your feet. Next minute you're back on the floor, working the core. Last five coming up. All right, excellent work. Ah, I should have thought about these ones before this workout. The chest is burning. Oh my days! All right, let's get back down to the floor. So next one, let's go with a back bridge raise again. This one's a little bit harder now. We're gonna go from the heels. So straight leg back bridge raise. One set of these ones. Hands facing away, feet together. And from here, we're just gonna raise up and get the hips up as high as we can. Head back again, chest out. Front chain once again, get the stretch. Back chain gets a lot more work. This one, you're gonna feel it a lot more because of the engagement from the heels, more in the calves and the hamstrings. So let's do this. All right, three, two, one. Let's give a demo just like this. Up. Down, just like that. So the head can drop as you drop, but as you come up, fall back. And open up. All right, let's do this. 30 seconds in three. Let's go. So this one really helps. Open up the shoulders. Open up the chest. And really works on the calves and the hamstrings. The back, triceps. All of that's getting good work. Keep it coming, last eight. <laughs> All right, excellent work. Let's come to our feet. How much time have we got? Oh, wow, 18 minutes already. Glad you. We better make this the last one or two rounds. Okay. This timer, video. All right. So what we're gonna do? Touch jumps. We've done all this before. So all turnips we're gonna work with. So first round, down, just like that. So just remember, it's a bend, not a stretch. When I say a bend, your knees are bending to touch, rather than coming down like that. Get the quads, hamstrings working. Knees bend. Yeah. Thirty seconds. Let's do this. Two, alternates, let's go. Feet coming together and then back up. All right, keep coming, halfway through. Last five. All right, excellent. All right, I'm going to finish off with a hard one now. So it's a hard one, but it'll be a perfect thing to take you into your cool down stretch. Because what we're going to do, we're going to work. Done this one before in the Indian squat, squat ups or get ups. But we're going to cool down. So what we're going to do? 
come down oops, into Indian squat. So that position here, hip, sorry, bum coming down as close to the calf, solely as you can. And we're gonna, from here, we're gonna take two steps forward, two steps back. But in this position, you're getting a good stretch in your glutes. Excellent for your posture. So after you finish the workout, you go straight into your cool down. So, gonna work like this, which is, uh, so, one, two, one, two, up, and back down into it, yeah? So, the main point, don't let your knees turn in, and if you work on keeping your ankles aligned and not letting them fall in, then your knees will usually stay aligned and work well. So, let's do this last one, three seconds. All right, 30, let's go. Indian squat, one, two, one, two, up, back down. Keep the mechanics good. All right, we're nearly halfway already. Keep it coming. Anyone think this is easy? Give this one exercise a try. Trust me, your legs gonna burn up. All right, Jeez. that is done. All right, excellent work to everyone that did this workout, especially that last exercise. Well done also getting the mountain climber challenge done. So, as always, do not forget, share the channel, do the workout, like the video, it's always gonna help with the algorithm, get more people viewing it, and don't forget to subscribe. So, once again, thank you for coming on, doing the workouts, until next time, peace.